Look, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad tidings, but there is rubbish everywhere. Let's start with this. You guys are doing this. Um, yeah, you can show me your search warrant before you go through my so house. You're, you're the Oh, yeah, I own his house. There yeah, it is. Now, search warrant. Search warrant for what? Now, what I will explain to you is, is if you want to listen, you got your phone going. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Right. Now, you're under arrest in relation to incitement. Incitement? Yes. Yeah. Now, you're not obliged to say or do anything, but anything you say or do may be given in evidence. Excuse me, incitement for what? What the? What on earth? Yeah. Excuse me, what What on earth? Yeah, just put your phone down. Can you, like, report this? I'm in my pyjamas. What's I this? I've an ultrasound in an hour. Yeah, pregnant. yeah she's pregnant, so... Well, I'll take it easy. What's in this about? I have face... an ultrasound just let me in an hour. Let me finish and I'll explain. It's in relation to a Facebook post, in relation to a lockdown protest you put on for Saturday. Yeah, and I wasn't breaking any laws by doing that. You nothing. are, actually. You are breaking all. That's why I'm arresting you. In relation to in front How of can my you children. arrest her? In That's... front of my two children. Can't you just say to her, take the post down? Like, come I'm, on. I'm happy to delete the post. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Right. Yeah. But I have to give you these caution and rights. Do you understand? Yeah, that's fine. Not, like, I'm happy to delete the post. This is anything? ridiculous. You like, you like, I just this say is do. That's Maybe fine. Maybe the evidence. you understand that? Yeah, that's fine. But my two kids are here. I have an ultrasound in an hour. Like, I'm happy to delete the post. You also have the right to communicate with or to communicate with a legal practitioner. Do you understand those rights? Yeah, this is ridiculous. Yeah, this is a bit unfair. Come on, mate. No, we, we what about she just doesn't do the event? Like, it's not like she's done it. Well, she made a post. Already committed the offence. So I'm not going to. So that's it. an offence. Now, the search warrant entitles us and we are required to seize any computers, no. any mobile devices you have. What's any computers and all That's fine, can I just, just let me finish? Let me finish. <laughs> any mobile telephone you've got, okay? So what we want is any mobile telephone, telephone you've got. You don't need that. That's actually my sister's phone. It's not yeah, your phone. Yeah, it's actually your phone. It doesn't matter. Any device in this house we're taking. This is well, ridiculous. You're not taking my phone. Well, I'm taking any device. Mate. Any That's device. my phone. It's, um, it's nothing doesn't to do with her. It's my mate. phone. Well, thankfully, I'm not the only Australian who thinks this is appalling, disgusting and disgraceful. A pregnant woman forced into tears, handcuffed in her pyjamas in front of her children. I think it's in Ballarat for quote-unquote incitement. The only person guilty of incitement is the Premier of Victoria and his outlandish grab for power, his disdain of any accountability, is forcing people to behaviour simply designed to take back their freedom. This woman is a victim of the inexcusable and unlimited powers given to the Victorian police. Everyone knew it had come to this. You can only push people so far. Wherein lies the violence in what you've just seen, the verbal and intimidatory behaviour towards a pregnant mother is a form of violence the like of which no Australian will tolerate. Go, Daniel Andrews, and go tonight, for God's sake, before more damage is done.